Hey guys, welcome to Show It Better. My name is Steven, and today we're gonna see how to create this section and this floor plan using Photoshop and Photoshop brushes, that's it. So let's start. So this is a very, very easy tutorial. It's very basic uh, to make it, you know, to make a spoiler right now, it's just using your brushes, using specific drawing brushes and drawing it in the best way possible. That is basically it. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, how I did it with the floor plan and with the section. Now, as always, if you want all the brushes, if you want the file, and the watch the real-time video you can go to our patreon community support us and also have access to all the files and all the videos and everything and if you don't want it no worries then you can, you can always watch this video then you can always also slow down the video if you want and lastly I would love love for you guys to subscribe and hit the like button this it just lets me know if you guys are liking these type of videos and it just lets you guys know when I upload a new video so if you guys want to hit receive a notification turn the bell on subscribe and uh yeah let's start okay so the magic of this section is in its textures or it's or the plan or whatever you're doing is creating uh textures that look like they were hand drawn but honestly to create this in you know in, in digital mode is very very hard so what i did was i drew the texture on my notebook i drew different types of textures with pens and with pencils and I scanned them and I put them on as brushes in Photoshop. So as you guys can see, I have these textures. I'm gonna show them specifically. I have this cross hatch texture. I have this one, this other one, this diagonal one. This one is like a more like a smudge, a flurry smudge or something, a blurry smudge. It sounds like an ice cream, <laughs> a flurry smudge. Can I have a flurry smudge please? So this is another smudge and I created this one as well. So, you know, I could, I, I also created like 10 more, but um, I'm just gonna show you the example with this one. So as you guys can see, these are textures um, that were hand drawn. And the magic is that once you repeat them a lot, it looks like your section is hand drawn. So uh, with these uh, brushes in mind is that you are going to do all the texturing. You won't need any textures, any paper textures, none of that. Just with these brushes, you are going to do it. So as you can see, I have imported a normal floor plan to my Photoshop file, or you can import the section, whatever you want. This is the floor plan. This is the base layer. And now I'm going to create a new layer press b for brush tool and select the, one of the brushes that i have so let's say this cross brush right so this is what it looks like and i'm going to put the opacity in about 10 percent so you can click type 10 here or you can you know just click on one in your keyboard and what i'm also going to do is i'm going to go to shape dynamics and i'm going to just separate this a little bit and i'm going to change the angle jitter so each time i click it's a different angle as you guys can see and i'm also going to change the size jitter so each time i click the size is just a bit different this will make our you know our randomness just go up right so it doesn't copy uh, as much now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my floor plan press w for the wand tool then i'm going to select all the spaces that I want to draw in, right? So this is everything but the wall. So I'm just gonna select all of the spaces. Then I'm going to go to my new layer and I'm going to start coloring it in with the brush tool, right? Just like we talked. I have a normal uh, kind of grid drawn texture, which looks kind of interesting for now. And if we turn our normal floor plan off, we will have this kind of texture which looks nice our next step is to repeat this but with a different brush and maybe smaller and closer to the walls so i'm going to go again to my floor plan uh, select all the spaces that i'm going to draw in so all the interior spaces that i already had selected etc 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 here we go and now i'm going to select another brush let's say this this brush right here and I'm gonna start coloring it in and it's going to be closer to the walls. So the sooner you can do this and the best you can do this, well, the better, right? So each time I get closer, I just make it smaller. I have, I'm making it smaller by clicking on Alt and 
right click. So I'm gonna speed this up right here because it's basically the same process, but the important thing here is guys, to vary your brush size, vary your brush type, and vary your brush intensity. If it gets closer to the walls, then it's darker. If it gets uh, farther away, then it's lighter. So after you do this for some time, it's supposed to be like this, right? So this is what it looks like. And if I turn my floor plan off, this is the result you guys will have, which is pretty neat. It's pretty interesting if, if you ask me. And I like, I like it a lot. Now let's try it in a section. Okay, so this is the section that I imported and it's basically the same process. So if I create a new layer, um, this is a section right here. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm going to select, um, this time I'm gonna select all of the walls, right? So I'm just gonna click on the walls, click on W and if I click on the black, it will select all the black. I'm gonna press on shift to add to the selection right here. And there I will have everything selected. So now if I go to my new layer, I can start painting in with my brush. If I put it in 20%, as you guys can see, you can start painting in, you know, some strokes, some brush strokes, or you can do exactly the on the opposite uh, sides, right? So let's say that I want to paint everything but this. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to start and press control shift I and start painting in inside of the building, right? So let's just select like this and start painting inside. And I'm going to speed this up because, well, it's a very long process. It took me about an hour to do this in the floor plan. But what you basically have to do is the same as with what we did with the floor plan, which is, you know, select one of these big brushes and have it at a 10 to 5% opacity. But once you get closer to where the wall meets the floor or where the wall meets a, an important detail in the building, then you want to, you know, increase the opacity. So it can be at about 20 to 30% and also decrease the size of the brush. What is important right here is that all the, 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 the places of the slabs or the floor slabs and the walls that you guys can see uh, remains very, very white because that is what is going to give depth to all of our all of our section and what is going to be interesting. So as you guys can see, I made a base color at the beginning, you know, creating the base color, but then I entered with the details. So if there was a windowsill, then I would I would come back and erase some of it. If there was also some stairs, then I would select you know each slab of the stair and I would you know select it and see which um, where it performed best. Took into account where the windows were. So if it was near the window. I, it wouldn't have too much of the brush on top of it, but if it was farther from the window and you know on, on into a crease or into a corner, then it would be much, much, much darker. And I think generally this process can be very interesting. And once you get to know like all of these kind of different types of pencil hatches that you guys can make. So if I use maybe only straight lines, but no cross hatches, then I would maybe have a different result, which would also be interesting. So this is very, 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 a very interesting process. Okay, so this was the final result. Uh, at the end, I, what I did was just merge the two images in the same canvas in Photoshop. So this was the floor plan that we had and this was the section that we had. Now, honestly, this is a very specific type of look. If you, you know, this is a very, in a very high quality as well. So if you guys zoom in onto the image, you guys can even see how each pencil stroke performs and how it's kind of like darker over here to, to these sections. And if you, if we go over to the floor plan, we can also see that this is much more notorious where you can see, you know, where all the walls are and all of the, you know, bases beyond the walls. So I really, really, really like uh, this kind of drawing. I think I'm going to be using it and I'm gonna be maybe mixing some styles with renders, with clay renders, who knows. But as you guys can see with no render engine, this is the result that we get with no textures from Photoshop. This is just only the textures, only the brushes that we use. I really, really like this result and uh, let me know if you guys liked it as well and if you guys would like to see more remember that i that i have one of these brushes for free and there's a link in the description but if you want all of the brushes that i used here and you want to see the real-time video and have access to this photoshop file you can join our join our patreon community where you can also support the channel and join the community of patreons that have access to the files the real-time videos uh, discounts etc uh this is like i want to repeat again this is not 
me trying to replace drawing you don't you know i think i, I know there are a lot of conservative people out there which is you know that they're going to comment you will never replace drawing you will never um, no computer is ever going to be beat the hand you know whatever you want to say but this is not the intent this is just uh one technique that you can use if you're not very good at drawing like for, for example i would never be able to do this with my hand i would never be able to do this with my hand even if i you know printed out the section did all the stuff just as i did uh, maybe if i practice a lot but i know that it, i can do it but much 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 better here in photoshop so for all those people that are thinking kind of the same then i suggest you use it and let me know what you guys think in the comments thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in a next video right bye